When the dream that was no longer can be, you have to dream a different dream. My life today is so amazing. I wake up every morning and I get to play. Um, doing this work is beyond my wildest dreams. Most people, when they get divorced, when they lose someone through death, when they lose a job, when they um, are abandoned, rejected, they don't just start over. They go into a place that I call the waiting room. The place between the two lives, the life they left behind and the life they are yet to have. I found myself in that place after my husband died in 2006 from colon cancer. He was 35 years old and I was left behind to raise two young daughters, uh, aged four and six. I died with him that day, but I didn't know it. It was Christmas, uh, a year and a half after he died, and I told my parents that don't come and have Christmas with me. I want to live my life as it is in, in reality just with my two girls and I'm gonna have Christmas alone. This is now our family. And it was in Boston, it was very cold, there was a lot of snow. And the mailman wouldn't deliver my mail because there was so much snow outside of my house. About six weeks before Christmas, I decided to go and shovel. So I shoveled and shoveled and shoveled and created enough space outside of my house for him to stop. So I waited for him to come and he just drove by, did not stop. And in that moment in time, I had two choices to make. I was either going to be the victim and stay in that mode and say, I can't even get my mail. I can't get my Christmas cards. My life is so bad. And it was really bad. And I, and I was crying just looking at him driving by. And choice number two was to put on my snow boots with my pajamas and started running. And I run like a crazy woman. When we discover a small portal, I call those moments uh, a portal that we open into the new world. The moment I put on my snow boots and I ran down the street to catch him to get the mail, I was choosing life in that moment and not my grief. Don't be afraid. Take the action, however small it is, especially if it's small. And sometimes you will be so afraid to do this and that's why I'm not asking you to jump. I'm asking you to crawl and crawl every day until you can walk and walk every day until you can run and run every day until you can fly. I hope this book takes you by the hand and walks you through that portal where you can discover the unbelievable life that is waiting for you and it is your life and nobody else's. If you've gone through a divorce, a breakup, a job loss, a death, if you've been abandoned, rejected, lost, isolated, forgotten, this is the book for you.